Hello everyone, I've got a grocery outlet haul. We're going to be going there probably more than once a month. What I'm going to do with them is check their ad each week. And they also have like a Angus Tuesdays where they'll have an Angus beef product on sale, which we don't need anything right now though. Um, and they also are going to have a Super Saturday sale this Saturday. Um, I looked at it and we might or might not go down there. They got some crazy prices uh, on that stuff that's on sale Saturday. Um, but I don't know if it's anything we really, I have to run it by Joy and see if she thinks she needs any of this stuff that's in it. But um, they, I, I looked at the ad today and we had to go down there to get some of the things that were in it. So, I mean, you got to save money now any way you can. And this is one of the places to do it. And not everything there is close dated. I mean, uh, some will be a month off. Some of the things are like regular products you'd get in the uh, grocery store, especially their canned items and stuff. But, um, you know, and even if it is, there's never anything wrong with it. You know, uh, we've never had any problem with this. You know, if it's frozen, it's it's been frozen, you know, and uh, we, of course we keep it in the freezer and uh, anything else, you know, we just hadn't, we have no complaints about anything and, and it's worth it. Believe me, uh, this, keep in mind, this haul was just 5826. As you see, everything we got, it's unbelievable. The, uh, buggy was, was, well, when I put all the bags and stuff in it, the buggy was about full of bags. We got one water because they're the cheapest now in town. This one's called crystal Oh, I'm not for sure. Glacier, glacier. It says on it, uh, purified drinking water, two sixty nine. No play. It's three eighteen unless it's gone up at Walmart, and it's three twenty nine at Aldi, which used to always be the cheapest. And Kitty's trying to get into everything. Um, so I got one because we already had some, you know. But I'd always want to grab one if I'm down there. Why not? They're the cheapest, so I'm I'm gonna kind of get my stock built back up on on drinking water because. You never know what's going to happen these days. It could be $4.99 a case, you know, before you know it. Uh, I don't know why, but, uh, you know, it's just it's smart to stock up while things are cheaper <laughs> when you, if you can. Okay, I got, uh, we've tried their uh, chicken quesadillas in this brand, and they were really good. I did a, a short on it, as a matter of fact. And uh, it, it was just really good. So that impressed me, this El Monterey brand. And I think you can get this brand also at, at Walmart. But they had these three cheese quesadillas uh, dinners with charboiled three cheese quesadilla meals served with yellow Spanish style rice and topped with a creamy, creamy queso sauce. And they're just a dollar. You know, you, this is a way better than anything you're going to get probably at Dollar Tree in the little meals like this. And, uh, you know, they're okay. Those banquet ones they got, they're okay. I've done reviews on them, but they're, you know, uh, I don't know what the sodium is on this one. See, 36%. They're all high on sodium. They, they all, we've talked about that. They, they use it, they put it in there for preservatives and for more flavor um, so that it'll last way longer than it would normally last if it didn't have it. But anyway, these were only a dollar, so I got one for a review, and then I got three more that we're going to have after after I do a review uh, on them uh, for, a, for a meal or lunch or something one night. Okay, the last time I, I got the uh, Just Crack an Egg omelet rounds, I, I think that's what they're called, and they were only 50 cents, which is crazy cheap. They're like uh, $2.98. They may have already gone up even more at Walmart. Uh, but they had these black Hormel black label oven baked egg bites. They're egg, sausage, bacon, and three cheeses. Also 50 cents. And I was trying to see how, where is the date on this? On package it says. Hold on, let me find this. Okay, they're May 24th. There's plenty of time uh, to, to eat these. And I'm sure you could freeze them anyway if you, if you didn't. But um, I got, uh, I believe, six of these because I still got some of the other ones. Um, 
Okay, one of the things in the ad was they had different kinds of uh, bacon, Oscar Mayer, and I forget what the other one was. It was another big brand. And uh, it showed center cut, but I didn't see any center cut. It, it was either all gone or they didn't get it. But $3.99 for Oscar Mayer bacon, go price it. Go price it at Walmart or Kroger or anywhere. It's gone way, way up. So three ninety nine. This is a this is a pound package of maple bacon. Uh, so you can't beat that for three ninety nine. I don't have room, honey. Just a minute. Three ninety nine is a great deal. And I got one of these Armor Lunch Makers Turkey and American Cheese for a dollar. We tried these. Here, I'll give you a bag. She wants a bag. Yeah. There you go. Uh, we tried these. We got them last time. Uh, we've got two bags of them. We tried them. They're excellent. They're nice, big potato wedges, and they're only a dollar twenty-nine. So that's a, a really great deal. Okay, there's the other. Uh, they're also the place to look for your yogurt. They don't always have it, but they did today. And there was eight in these. There. They're two seventy nine. I think I know they were. Yeah, two seventy nine, and they are. Let's see. They're Yo Play Power. They're cherry pomegranate. Uh, these are. I'm sure they're. You know, very expensive. And they're eighteenth of May. But we will definitely eat these pretty quick. And they still are good after the date uh, for quite a while. I used to be over the dairy department at a local grocery store when I was pretty young. When we first got married. Kitty, I don't have room right now. Um, bless her heart. She likes to sit up here. Um, if I get some room, you know, I'll let her get up here. Um, you know, I used to, so, and I talked to, you know, I was over the dairy department. And uh, I was a dairy manager even back then when I was real young. And uh, probably about 17, 18, I think it was 18 maybe. Uh, the, the, the rep from Dan and Yogurt said uh, that they would last weeks. Uh, that he said they intentionally put the date earlier because people leave them in their fridge and they don't check the date, you know. And I just leave them in there or something. And he said, so they, they, at least two weeks, he said they would still be good. Uh, and I believe him because, you know, we've got some that we got that weren't out of date and sat in there for a while. And then they, they were fine. We got some, Joy wanted to get this. It's a uh, Hillshire Farm Premium Carved Oven Roasted Turkey Breast. You can see it's, well, there's what it looks like. And it was 249 and it's 11 ounces. You can see it's like chunk, not chunks, but you know, carved, like it's carved. Um, oh my goodness, they, I noticed they have a lot of Hormel products, which is fine. That's great, we love Hormel products. They have these Hormel garlic mashed potatoes, $1.29. These things are about four bucks. They're four nineteen at Food City. I ha I can't remember if they're that much at Kroger, but I think they're close to it. And a uh, dollar twenty nine is, is crazy cheap. There's some more of them. Um, okay, got two of them. Okay, I think that's all the refrigerated. So let me let me put this up, and I'll be right back. All right, bless your heart. She wants to lay down right here. That's okay. Yes. See? See, I'm just laying right here. <laughs> oh, she loves halls. And she wants to lay right here if she can. That's okay. At least you're laying down. Okay. We're going to have to start checking their canned goods more which we haven't paid a whole lot of attention to, but they had a few things in the ad today. And uh, one of them I didn't see, but I mean, that doesn't mean it wasn't there. And it was pinto beans with something. And we've already got about six cans of pinto beans. So 
and we don't eat them very much. We we'll use them when I make chili. I, we like pinto beans because the kidney beans, is, the skin is just too tough on them it's for, for me. I, I have a hard time with them. But anyway, the diced tomatoes at Aldi, I'm, I'm pretty sure were 64 cents. They used to be 49 cents, not very long ago at all, 49 cents. So I bought, and really almost all their uh, canned vegetables were 49. Some of them were just a little bit more, but not much. But they've all gone up at Aldi. So I'm going to start checking down there. There may be brands I've never heard of, but I hadn't. <laughs> I mean, they're always good. So we got this uh, Centrella. Uh, it says since 1917. So they've been around for a while. And it's diced tomatoes. So they're 50 cents. That saves 14 cents a can right there. I only really needed two of them, so I got two. Um, but they've got them down there and they won't change the price or anything uh, for 50 cents. And then they also had these French style green beans. It's Field Harvest. Never heard of that brand, but that doesn't mean they're not good. It just says green beans and water in it. 50 cents, same deal. They're like 64 cents at, I'm not for sure. Let's see, at Walmart, I think they were 58 cents. So 50 cents is, is way low. And then this one's 59 cents. It's best choice chili beans. So that's not bad. Um, they had these tortillas. They're like, it says taco size. They kind of look like a street taco size. This is Hannaford. I think I've heard someone mention Hannaford. Uh, I, th I think, was it Kim from Kim Lazardi? Is that, well, didn't you mention Hannaford? Is there something that sounds like that? Well, anyway, these are taco size. It says six inch. Uh, they were 50 cents, I think. They're marked down to 25 cents. But, where the date is on it? Not really. They're really soft still, anyway. Well, I don't see it right offhand. But anyway, they're really uh, soft still, so that's all that matters. Uh, or 25 cents, I mean, wow. They had, one of the things they had on sale too was this uh, cherry, uh, Michigan made cherry pie filling and dessert topping. We've got this one ref before and it's good. And it was $1.49. If y'all have priced pie fillings lately, uh, you'll know that's pretty good. Another thing in the ad, and I couldn't believe it, was this, uh, it's Lowe's Foods. Do y'all, let me know if y'all have a Lowe's Foods. Um, it says, shake it up, sea salt and pepper kettle cooked chips. Uh, if you have a Lowe's Foods, you may know how much these normally are. They got the 6th of June on them, they'll be gone by then. Uh, we want to try one of these, and uh, I got an extra bag of the original. Uh, <coughs> this is the sea salt and pepper. I got one of these to try on Logan's and then I got an extra one of the original because it says lightly salted. So 79 cents. I mean that's crazy cheap. This one has 30th of May but if you don't open these <coughs> they will stay fresh especially kettle chips. <coughs> Once you open them put the bag and all, fold it over, put it in a storage bag, and they will stay much fresher than if you try to twist them at the top or put a chip clip or anything like that. <clears throat> put them in a storage bag, fold the top up, put them in a storage bag, and they'll stay fresh for a long time. So 79 cents is crazy cheap. Right, kitty? Right? Yeah, it is. It's crazy cheap, isn't it? And then, uh, of course, I know a lot of y'all probably uh, heard of Cape Cod uh, kettle cooked potato chips and other things they have. But this one caught our eye. Joy actually saw this one first, I believe. <clears throat> it's 40% less fat and uh, nothing added. It says um, no artificial flavors or preservatives. This one's Sweet Mesquite Barbecue. And it's got June 4th. $1.49, which is way cheap for Cape Cod uh, chips. And then I've seen this one in Kroger. I'm not for sure about Walmart, but I know I've seen this in Kroger. Late July snacks. 
This will be good with the hummus that we got. It is a multi-grain tortilla chip, and it's got chia, flax, lin, L-I-N, I think that's what that says, millet, quinoa, amaranth. Oh, that's a, that's a different language. It's got chia and flax, and then that lin is a different one. And it says millet and quinoa and amaranth, and then it says amaranth in another language right there, I believe. And these go to, uh, through 2nd of July, and I thought they'd be great with uh, either salsa or both, a hummus and salsa. So they were, um, how much were they? I think they were a dollar. Yeah, here's the, I got two of them. They were a dollar. So we're in good shape on chips for a while for Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews. And this here is another uh, thing that was in the ad that's, that's crazy cheap. They're kind bars, they're, they're kind kids, it says. Uh, it's a 20 par bar variety pack. If you've priced kind bars, you know that they are really expensive. Um, so this one has 10 chocolate chip and 10 peanut butter chocolate chip for $5.99. So 20 kind bars. Yeah, they were $5.99. Yep. And that's crazy cheap. They also got they got some Nature Valley ones I'm keeping an eye on that have more than that in them. They're $8.99 right now, but they're uh, they're out of date. I'm waiting for them to mark them down. I almost mentioned it to them because uh, I have mentioned it to them before. Uh, that so-and-so is out of date. Are you going to mark these down? And they'll go immediately and mark it down. They just hadn't noticed it, I guess, yet. But they got a bunch of them, and there's like 40, I think, in there or something for $8.99. That's super cheap already, but they'll mark them down to probably half that, you know. So I'm just waiting, you know. I keep an eye on that stuff. Yeah, I, ch I check dates on stuff that's regular price to see when it's going out of date if it's something that we're interested in. Got Kitty some Whisker Lickens. If y'all have priced these, you know they're at Walmart. They have this same one. I can't remember. It's it's like two bucks and so I think. But this is a dollar forty nine. You want some more? I already gave you a few of them. Let me have this. Don't do that. Here. Here. So she got a few of those. Okay. We got some shelled black eyed peas with snaps. And that was 69 cents. The field peas and snaps we got at Walmart were $1.22. So 69, yeah, I'll take that any day. Here's the other green bean, French style green bean. I got these for Logan, he's been wanting these. Honey, you're going to have to move. Okay, good girl. Here's, if you want these, here they are. I got Logan these Planters Winter Spiced Mix, Honey Roasted Peanuts, Almonds, Honey Roasted Sesame Sticks, Cashews, and Pecans. It's a one pound, 2.75 ounces for $2.99. That's a great deal. They had some I got in that were a dollar ninety nine, but I think they're a little. They, it's possible they're a little smaller than that one. I think, or maybe just because what's in that one is more. Um, we needed some hot dog chili. We're gonna have them soon, but we didn't get. We didn't even look at the hot dog buns. I don't know why. We'll get some somewhere when we have them. Uh, this is Econo Max hot dog chili sauce, and it was sixty nine cents. Most cans like that are over a dollar now. And then, I don't know if I mentioned, I, yeah, I got one water. I already put it up. We got a couple more of these. They're really good. These Planters Cheese Balls, a dollar, two of them. They didn't have any more six packs of these energy drinks that were three for a dollar. You could get a six pack for a dollar ninety-nine. They, they must have just decided to take them out of the six packs and sell them uh, singles but there were three for a dollar and Joy got 12 of them 
believe it or not, these are good. And I was looking and they're made in South Africa, which that doesn't matter to me, but I, I thought that was unusual, an energy drink coming from South Africa, but they're good. They taste good. And most of them taste more, kind of like more like cough syrup or something to me than anything. And I got one more of these. I got two of them. Last time this flavor mate grillers, roasted garlic and herb because it's really good. It's, it tastes as good as Mrs. Dash any day. And it's a big uh, three ounce container. That's more, you know, the Mrs. Dash would be about like that. Look at how many ounces it is. And Mrs. Dash would be probably close to three bucks now. And this one's only $1.19. So I got one more of those. And they haven't had anything like this in a while. I, I think they were Jif, the last ones we were getting. It's Skippy Creamy individual packets. It's got eight packets in here, good on the go. Lots of protein, you know, if you're, if you're needing something real quick. And they're only a dollar, which is good. So, let me see. Anyway, uh, that's a real good deal on these if you price these in the regular store. So, that's it for all that. I mean, it's crazy. All that for $58.26. And, you know, this would be well over $100 if you bought the equivalent things of it at Kroger. Uh, maybe even Walmart these days. <clears throat> I, I know it would be. So, uh, you know, it, it just makes sense to, to go down there and to keep up with their ads and stuff. And what we're going to, I think we're going to do is uh, we're going to probably start going there at the first of the month before we go to Walmart and Aldi with our list and see if we can find how many items we can find there that would be cheaper. And then we'll, whatever's left over, you know, I'll mark it out, whatever we get there, and then whatever's left over, we'll get Aldi and uh, Walmart. <clears throat> like I said, Kroger's is just when we find a super deal, like digital coupons or used paper coupons, stuff like that. So <clears throat> I hope you all enjoyed this grocery outlet haul. And uh, I, I want to say one thing. There's two different companies that, that are called grocery outlet. If yours says grocery outlet bargain market underneath it, it's a different company. And I've heard they've got pretty good deals and everything, but it's not, it's not the same outfit. So this one is actually called the, the parent company calls it United Grocery Outlet. And, but their signs say grocery outlet and they're only in, uh, Tennessee. And I think they got some in maybe Virginia or Kentucky. And I'm not for sure about Georgia, but they're just, you know, there's not a whole lot of them, but they're growing. So, I was glad ours came. We It was Save A Lot down there before it was Grocery Outlet. And uh, we like to save a lot a lot. I kind of miss it, but we're saving a lot more money uh, at Grocery Outlet. So, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this Grocery Outlet haul. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that <coughs> so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching and try to save some money out there any way you can. Bye everyone and God bless.